I'm still at this locker room, and I'm look, look. I'm going through so many lockers at this point, trying to find a clue, a lead, somewhere that can help. Oh shit! Okay, there's so much wrong things alone in this fucking locker. I mean, disgusting flag, bloody rags. Like, what the fuck? Seriously? Yeah, be kidding the me. The proud South. Hmm. Disgusting. Arctic nations strike again. Supremacists believe that God created Earth to be dominated exclusively by the white race. What? Leaders of the radical organization stand by Arthur Tucker, one of seven members arrested during the riots. Wow. Integration is more of sin. Mr. Tucker, an amateur boxer, allegedly broke a police officer's jaw. Bastards. Wow, he certainly. Wow, he broke a police officer's jaw. Sorry, police officer's jaw. Huh. That Smells is like crazy. Paint. Hey. That is some crazy shit. Oh, yes, I love new deductions. Okay, so. Uh... Wait a minute. So, one. There's a smudge ra racial slur painted on Yale's locker. And right here. There's a stained tower. So Arthur that could be Tucker it. Tucker painted the racial slur on Yale's locker. Disgusting. He needs his ass beat, that's for sure. Disgusting little prick. All right, let's take a look at this one. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah? Empty. Of course. There's nothing else for me to look at, so... Huh. I say let's follow the footprints, because I want to know who... failed to clean that up. Oh, I see something! Hold on. Come on. Yeah, I got it. Sweet. So, on to the white prints. Where is it leading me to? Unless, can I go on stage? Or not? Nah? Probably not. I don't see anything else. Nothing on the floor. Oh, wait, wait, there is. Right here. So he did. Uh... Oh, let me get that from the refrigerator. Hold on. Can I get that? Come on. Let me get that card. Thank you. Okay, so the prince leads to this door. So let's just walk on through. I don't see any other prints, right? What? Hi, uh... Who are you? Oh, yeah. You bring my, bring my lunch? You hound... I mean, cat. Do you want anything in particular? Not in particular. Just something that fits in my mouth. Anything with cheese. Yeah, cheese. Lots of cheese. Cheese. Lots of cheese. No, but seriously, though, where's the prince? Can I go through here? No. You know what? I'm gonna get something from the diner. That would be my best bet at this point. 
I'll get like a cheeseburger at the diner, bring it over to the old guy. That way, once I have him nice and fed, he'll probably want to talk to me about anything at this point. Otherwise, I, I don't see any clues or footprints. Not from that paint anyways. I'm at the diner, I'm gonna go get some food. Because, oh, well, the thing is, do I even have food? Huh. Let's see if I'm able to buy something. I'm curious. Welcome to Sam's Di- What can I do for you, Mr. Blacksad? Damn, she definitely changed her tone. Can I have a hamburger, please? Oh, sure. Regular or cheese? I think I'll get the cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. And make it You want fries? Go. A drink? No, that's it. Okay. Is that for here or to go, then? To go, please. Mm -hmm. One cheeseburger to go, Sam. Okay! Damn, that's a strong-ass okay. Oh, it's a good thing I came here. So where am I looking at, exactly? I don't see anything. Oh. They look puffy and tired. Sleepless nights, hectic crying. days, or has she been crying? Perhaps been... all of the above. Yeah, true. She did lose her boss, so... Makes sense. What am I looking at? Smells like cinnamon. No, cinnamon and burgers. Okay. Smells tasty. My pal is going to lick his chops. Is that the only thing I am able to see? Oh. Okay, it's music. What's so important about this? Am I... hold on. Handwriting, right? Her handwriting is nice and neat. Who the hell Your keeps is ready. Oh, never mind. It's a lousy shoot, that's for sure. <laughs> Damn, he's right, tearing well, that shit up. You. Four people used the back door that very same night. Huh? Well, I might be blind as a bat, but as you can certainly see, I have two wonderfully functional ears. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Thank you very much for remembering the cheese, by the way. No problem. <laughs> Four people used the back door two days ago? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Who was the first person to use the back door? Someone big. Unlocked the door, stepped inside, then came right back out. Who was the second person to use the back door? A man. Just a few minutes after the first person. He came back out muttering, ungrateful bastard. Then he threw something in the trash and walked back in. Oh, no, wait. Before that, he gave me a coin. A coin? I mean, do I look like I need spare change, huh? I mean, I'm staying at the Million Star Hotel, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> look at him trying to be all cheeky and everything. Who was the third person to use the back door? 
Judging by the quiet footsteps, I'd say it was someone small. I'd say it was about 30 minutes after the second person came out. Whoever it was threw something in the trash and stood in front of me for a moment. Then I heard a click. And finally, I heard trailing laughter in that direction. Who was the fourth person to use the back door? Someone big. I recall heavy breathing. The person left in a hurry, running in that direction. <laughs> Damn, you good? There's a chest expander in your cart. A what expander? A thingamajig with three springs. Oh! The thingamajig with spring. Oh, I, I got it from the trash back there. You were acting a bit strange before, but now you seem fine. Why is that? Hey, you got great vision, sense of smell, hearing. Why is that? Well, I'm a cat. Well, I'm a goat. Let me see if there's anything for me to explore from this guy. Yeah? I wonder what it's like to be blind. Would I cope? No. I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't. It'll suck. Blind and legless. How does he get by? Shuffling around on his cart, maybe? Who knows? Oh, what's this? Blind and legless. How does he get by? I already did that one. What an ass. Okay. I did the eye thing. So there's nothing else? Oh. Bingo. Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. Can't be him because, you know, why would he? Same thing, I'm not interested. What about, oh. no, I already did that one. No, thank you. This, this part right here is a little confusing for me. Maybe I need to look at the bigger picture, right? No. Got one clue left. No, 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 no. Come on. Give me a hint. No. Hold on. I don't know what else I'm supposed to look at. I'm clearly not good at being a detective. That's, that's, you know, obvious, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at. Seriously, what, supposedly there's one more clue, but what kind of clue is it? I already did that one. No? I already did the leg one. This thing is so baloney. Oh, maybe his shirt, right? Let me see. His shirt? No. I already did the can. Oh, well, I'm going back. Where did you get that paint can? In the trash can in the back. A paint can and a thingamajig with springs. What a night. That's all for now. Thanks. Oh, yes, I want a new. Okay, let me see. What is your other deduction? Okay, so. So 
so there's paint. There's a paint stain on the gym floor. And someone threw a paint can in the trash. Um, that's not it. How about this? Yale's locker is full of surprises, and someone threw a chest expander in the trash. Nice. Well, I know this much. The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. So you think Yale's the one who did it? What? Huh. Okay. Do you remember anything else about the day you found the thingamajig with the springs and the paint can? Yeah, uh, no. <coughs> what an ass. I'm done. Wait, 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 yeah. Well, no, now that I think of it, uh, no. Is it yes hey, or no? How about thanking a good-looking goat with a cigarette? <coughs> the way you're coughing, can you even handle a cigarette? Be serious. Yo. Yo. I don't think that's a good idea. You've got one nasty cough. Oh, come on. You know, cigarettes have lots of very healthy properties. Oh, come on. It's just a smoke, lady. Okay. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> he is coughing up a lot. Wait, Black Sad, you smoke too, bro? Come on. Smoking kills. Yeah, you think you're not responsible for my pathetic state? I'm not. Think but thanks. You're not to blame? I'm not. It's the government that shipped me off to war. They shipped what? me off too. Oh, right. So then you know what it's like to kill, too. Well, then another sad hobo shouldn't be a problem for you, Professor. Yeah, I killed people. And yet, you don't want to help me die. Wait, wait, but uh, that's not what I wanted to say. Oh, well, you know we goats tend to jump from one thing to another. <laughs> Can you even- The do? government paid for everything. Army fatigues, rations, weapons, <laughs> lodging, hookers, drugs. <clears throat> do you know where that money comes from? <laughs> the taxes! Your taxes, my dear friend. You helped them cut my legs. <laughs> They declare war, war, every chance they get so that the weapon industry that finances their campaigns get, gets richer and, and richer and richer. Is he really passing out? And that's how we finance their wars. So the slightest connection with corruption turns us into accomplices. Unless... One manages to keep at arm's length. <sighs> that is what I did, my loyal disciple. At the Million Star Hotel! <laughs> so, do you like your master the great? Hey, what's your name? You never told me... He's passed out. He's hamburger wasted. Fuck me, bro. He is literally hamburger wasted. The itis caught up to him. Let me just go inside and ask them about who else goes to the gym. He, I don't know, that goat man. 
I appreciate his help, but still. Yo. That's really sad, though. I mean, I appreciate his service, too, but look how fucked up he got. War is not an easy playground to be in. Okay, I'm gonna check up on these two. See what's up. Can I not talk to her? Can I run a couple of questions by you? If they help you find Yale, go ahead. Did you and your father get along? Let's just say our relationship got better when I left for Sunny University. An eight-hour drive from here. Meaning? I'll lay it out for you, Mr. Blacksad. My father, Joe Dunn, disappeared the day my mother died. Oh, shit. He became a shell of himself. Joe Dunn, my legal guardian. A man who gave me food, shelter, clothing, and an education. And that's more than you need to know. Damn, she she has a lot of trauma. What can you tell me about Jake? I thought you were friends. Guess I was wrong. He and my father were friends. So don't go down that road. Okay, fine. Let's ignore that possibility for now, since you want to be so sensitive. Did you get along with Bobby Yale? Okay. Forget it. I wouldn't give a damn about him if it weren't for this stupid gym his stupid fight is supposed to save. Damn. Happy? Oof. She really hates that guy. What do you think about Mary, the cleaning lady? Can't say. I, I barely know her. And I'm not one who's quick to judge other people. But you were quick... Are you kidding me? You were just by... She was just judging Yale. What's in those papers you're going through? Red tape. Great. If you find something, please let me know. I thought you were the detective. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Wow, and she doesn't want to help or cooperate. Fucking ass. Alright, let me see here. Any clues for me? Where? Where? The eye. Big, bright eyes. Looks well rested. Either she didn't mourn her father, or she really knows how to work that makeup. Well, she wasn't really close to her daddy, so I figured she didn't really cry for him as much. Nice and steady heartbeat. Is that a good thing or nah? What else am I looking at? What the? What's wrong? Someone's taking pictures from the rooftop. Are you sure? I'll go take a look. Now, who's that rope for, Miss? Oh, mm. it's your friend Weekly. Weekly. Or whatever, Weekly. Huh? 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 Yo, chill! Huh? 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 Uh. Shit. Uh. Uh. What the hell are you doing here? Uh. Oh. You almost <laughs> fell and died. Hey, hey look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> don't change the subject, you sad little- Why don't we settle this over ice cream, huh, John? Just like in the good old days. <laughs> How did you get up here? I don't want anyone to see you. Oh, that's how he got in. Okay. Everyone, even the most hapless of creatures, has a gift. Something that makes them special, that makes them worth knowing. Foul-smelling Weekly is no exception. No matter what he does, it's impossible to stay mad at him for too long. Mmm. Ah, this bourbon shake is delicious. Want a taste? You know I don't like milk. Your loss. 
So, but you're a cat. Joe Dunn hangs himself and leaves his gym to his daughter, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. I don't think Dunn killed himself. What? Do you have a suspect? Any leads? No, it's just a hunch. Although... Damn, I don't even know who did it. I haven't identified the murderer just yet. You know something. Say something. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a hunch. I wouldn't bet my life on it. Damn. I've got other suspects. Like O'Leary, bookmaker. Desmond O'Leary? The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? America's sweetheart? Now that's a woman. And then there's the walrus. Who was that guy? Uh, come on. You've never heard of Frank Cassidy? No. The president of the Boxing Managers Association? Oh. Who's also Stone's agent, Bobby Yale's rival. Hey, he might have a motive, right? Hmm. He might know something about Dunn's death, right? I decided to ask Weekly to investigate Cassidy. My reasons? Weekly was right. Cassidy could have had a motive to kill Dunn. Weekly had already proven to be nosy. The farther I kept him from the gym, the better. But with Weekly, you just never know what the best approach might be. Should I give him an order or a subtle suggestion? Well, since you think Cassidy is a suspect, see what you can find. Hmm. Okay, but you'll have to do me a favor. What is it? Tell Sonya Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's News wants an interview. Weekly, please. Well, if not, bye-bye, Cassidy. You know, there's a third option. What if I tell Sonya to sue you for spying on her? You wouldn't. I would. Now, try me. Okay, you yeah. win. Yeah, that's why I fought. So, was there really someone on the roof? No one. I must be seeing things. A hallucinating detective. Oh, great. This must be my lucky day. Now she's gonna give me shit. Shut up, bro. I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, yeah. Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone, the reigning champion. If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Hmm. Damn, she is really trying to bust my balls. Okay, whatever. Let me see what I can... Ooh, another card! Yes, I love getting these cards. I'd like to take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but my mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. What? The combination's been reset? Hmm. Huh. Don's wife's birthday doesn't... Seem like a happy family. And he lost his mind once the wife is out of the picture. That's sad. Maybe... I mean, there should be some other clues. What are you looking for? Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Well, I say we should take that and go through everything at this point. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.